Check it out, guys. A blast from the past. Pristine Suzuki JR50 just resurrected by the staff here at the Ringling Motorcycle Museum. These young bucks uh, got an eye on it and uh, they want to ride it too, but we got to ask their dad. Look at this thing. Subscribe to Kaplan Cycles. <laughs> Check this thing out, man. This is absolutely beautiful. It's a Suzuki JR50 two stroke. It's been completely gone through. The boys stripped it right down to the frame. It's got new tires on it. It's got a complete Steiger graphics kit on it. I've got to point this out first because check this out. That, that's a, uh, says Lil Zilla. That's Godzilla's eye right there. Kind of like Quadzilla, RM Zilla. Well, guys, this is JR Zilla, AKA Lil Zilla. It rips pretty good with you on it, even though you're about twice the recommended weight, right? Yeah, it's not bad, honestly. What a cool, what a cool piece. They, now, they, when they stripped it down, they steam cleaned it, polished all the chrome, Repainted the frame, repainted the motor, repainted the kickstand, the the, uh, uh, the foot pegs, the swing arm. You can see it's got our uh, signature gold chain on there. It's got a brand new seat cover on it. It's got new grips on it. The handlebars were painted. It has a new front fender, new front number plate, new side number plates, new rear fender. Again, new seat cover, new tires, new chain. It's been completely tuned up. Uh, new gear lube. It's running uh, um, VP, non-ethanol fuel in there. And she's ready to go for another... 30 years, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> this thing runs strong. Yeah, any, uh, want to add your 10 cents on it? I know you were, Kyle's a project manager, followed this through from day one. Uh, what yeah, I mean, honestly, this thing, when we got it, it was already a pretty good running machine. It it took very minimal work for us to get it to where it is right now. It was it was a pretty nice pretty nice bike, honestly. Thanks, man. We just need to make it beautiful. Check out the, uh, the rear uh, Steiger designs. This is number 33. There's only one of these little zills on the planet, and these graphics aren't for sale. If you zoom in, you'll see that's number 33. <clears throat> what do you boys think of it? Awesome. You like it? It's really sick. I wish I could ride it. You want to send it? Yeah. You got to ask yeah. your dad, huh? <laughs> hey, Daddy, I could send it. So, so these guys have their own YouTube channel, too. Well, what's the name of your channel? Garage Groove. Garage Groove. Check it out uh, on, uh, on YouTube. They got a bunch of big, their dad has a bunch of big board two-strokes. So kick-ass machine, they're super rare. There's hardly any of these around anymore. Let me just go over the work order, make sure I didn't miss anything. This was, um, uh, again, they changed the oil, uh, flushed out the fuel tank, put the new plastic and graphics on, put the new chain on, new grips, cleaned the carb, test rode it, and as Kyle had said, it was in really good shape when we got it. So three hours in the service department. Uh, parts list pretty much covers everything I already said. Um, Steiger graphics, it's a 420 gold chain. Then I went to the detail shop. Ronnie spent a full day on this thing. He steam cleaned it again, washed it, degreased it, painted the frame, the engine, the swing arm, the bars, the forks, the hubs, polished the wheels, spokes, etc. cetera. Uh, so a total of 13 hours labor, no, excuse me, 11 hours labor, plus parts. The work order came out to $1,305.98. So $1,300 resurrecting it and giving it a, a new lease on life here. Yeah, we had two PWs come through the shop. This little JR would definitely beat him in, a, in an outlawed. <laughs> A oh, pillar, absolutely straight drag. Aren't the P are the PWs? Uh, they're, they're automatics, right? Yeah, they are. Yes. This has got a this has got a shifter semi-automatic. Yeah. The PW is fully automatic. This right? one runs super, super tight. Super Definitely strong. faster than, than the uh, than the than the PW. So, kick-ass little JR. If you have any questions about it, give us a call. Eight six zero four five four seven zero two four. The only thing it, it could use is possibly a new set of fork seals. Those are the original fork seals. You can see they're leaking a little bit, but. Uh, it is what it is. We're uh, we've already put thirteen hundred bucks in it. We don't we don't want to put more into it than it's worth. So, as you can see, new tires, new graphics. Really, absolutely. I don't want to beat the drum too much, but check out check out those uh, Christie's graphics, man. This is what I told her when, when I saw the graphics, the tank graphics with the Zilla on there. To me, this, these are on the podium of the best of the thirty three kits. This is top three. It might even be one of my favorites for a lot of different reasons because it's a little Zilla, right? but you see the big Godzilla eye. And what you're doing when you give a bike like this to a kid is you're creating a monster. <laughs> you're creating a monster. And for the rest of his life, he's gonna wanna ride dirt bikes. And they gotta start off when they're young on a 50. And this is the way to go. The bulletproof Japanese technology. It's not a China bike like the Chinese bikes that they have that are, I wouldn't want my kid riding one. They've got a lot of problems with the carbs and whatnot. And they're just, stick they stick wide open and have them fly into a fence. That's probably not a good idea. These are um, Japanese quality. It's got the oversized 300 by 10 tire on the front, shocks front and rear, and it's a two-stroke, so pretty much bulletproof. But check out these graphics, Lil Zilla. Now, if you have a Quad Zilla or an RM Zilla, you need to buy this and hang it from the ceiling or put it right next to your toad on a trailer behind your Quad Zilla. I don't know, but it needs to, needs to stay with them. 
love to display it in the museum here. If you buy this, you want to leave it here, we'd, we'd love to uh, put it in the third floor with all the race bikes, with the Ricky Carmichael bike and whatnot, and next to our RMZilla. So anyways, thanks for watching. Call us if you have any questions. God bless America.